We have new developments now. A lucky break may have helped police catch a killer. The death of a Vietnam veteran in his Oceanside home has stumped police for two months. Well, in a strange twist, detectives did not have to go far to find the suspected killer. 10 News reporter Vanessa Van Hefty joining us live now. Vanessa, this arrest has really had an immediate impact on this neighborhood. Yeah, people here have certainly been on edge. Police say they found the killer here in this parking lot at this tire store right by the victim's house. For two months, they say he was right under their nose. He was a Vietnam veteran and father mysteriously robbed and killed in his home back in August. Neighbors thought the killer would never be found. I'm actually kind of in shock like I was the day it happened, to tell you the truth, because I didn't think they would catch this guy. I really didn't. Caught, police say, feet from John Roth's home. Police were called to check on a homeless man sleeping at this tire store. 21-year-old Carrie Reed was matched by DNA from the nearby crime scene nearly two months earlier. 77-year-old Roth was discovered with upper body trauma by his wife when she got home from work. Several items, including a home computer, stolen. Certainly, this takes the load off of her mind. Sam Scherf manages Surfside Tap Room, where Roth was a regular. It's crazy. It, personally, I never thought that they would make an arrest in this case. But, you know, I really thought that it was a, probably a transient and that whoever did it hopped a bus out of town the next day. So I am just amazed that they were able to put the pieces together and, and get this guy. But to have him be so close to the to the scene of the crime is shocking. Sam Scherf says Roth may have been an easy target. He sometimes walked with a cane and had a set schedule, walking the neighborhood, sidewalks and alleys morning, noon and night. He was well known at the bar where friends toasted him. He served in Vietnam. He was a topographer. He crawled through rice paddies to make sure that the, the maps had the right elevations and stuff. And, and we had some intense conversations, but we always ended up laughing. Reed will face a judge on Wednesday reporting live from Oceanside. Vanessa Van Hefty, 10 News.